Hi, my name is Craig Hunt with HisVision.com. Today we'll be teaching you and training you how to uh, edit and um, uh, uh, change out, upload, and uh, maneuver the Rock Gallery slideshow um, that is available with the Rocket Theme templates for Joomla. Um, basically, it's this slideshow here, and uh, you'll notice here that I just have some 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 test ones here. Um, you can switch out the images here, and then it has a title and a description. Now, if you wanted a new image here, uh, obviously the first thing usually you would do is you'd go to, uh, say for example, um, images.google.com. Let's say for example you wanted to look up a beach scene, search beach, and uh, you want to make sure that your videos, you maybe click size here and go larger than 1024 by 678. Um, your your ultimate size, you actually need a size, an image size of at least 1240 by 550. And that's listed on your training videos um, uh, uh, tabs on your training page. 1240 by 550, 1240 wide by 550. So you're looking for something at least those dimensions. Um, this right here, for example, would meet those dimensions. Uh, click on it, view original image. And what you want to do is save this image to your desktop. Okay. And uh, open up Photoshop. You want to create a, a new image with the dimensions that we had talked about, which are 1240 by 550. You want it to be a resolution of 72. RGB white is fine. Background is white is fine. And that's it. Click OK. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your image. Okay. Now, rather than saving your image, uh, sometimes it's faster. And you'll notice here, um, let me come over here. Uh, Facebook is on this side. Oops. My uh, open window came on this side. Let me see if I can't do that again. Uh, open. Oh, it's still open on the other side. That's OK. So we'll open it up here. And uh, but, but what you probably could have done that's even faster than that is you could have just gone copy image, and then in your new canvas go paste. Okay. Now obviously it's uh, bigger than the canvas, but what you do is you hit Control T, and notice you have your transformation controls. What you do is you pull those in, hold the Shift key so that it transforms proportionately and it doesn't get warped. This is one way to transform. I'm holding down the Shift key while I'm dragging the controls, or you can hit Enter. I'll do a Control Z for undo. Let's say it, it zooms in here. You want to do a con control T is the same thing as edit transform. Notice here it's uh, to scale or free transform is control T. Click free transform. This time we're going to do it manually. Click up here and the coordinates of the document go zero, zero, which makes it basically flush it, flush with the origin of the docu document up in the upper left hand corner and the yeah, upper left hand corner. And then click with 20% tab 20% and notice that it's smaller you can go you know 50 tab 50 oops 70 tab tab 70 and uh, then go ahead and use your your mouse to do the rest of it hold down the shift key and then drag the corner so that it drags proportionally okay and there's your beach scene with the heart get some of the trees get some of the thing okay click enter uh, put whatever image on here you want. Uh, in addition to that, if you want a person, let's just go ahead and look at maybe, for example, let's open up a uh, uh, light explosion image and um, let's open up uh, see, me. Drag a ping on top of that and uh, notice here we have me. Let's do a control T, which is like transform. Right click on the image and flip horizontal. Now, you know, this video is, 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 does, doesn't include Photoshop training. If you want Photoshop training, uh, you, that can be separate, or you can go on uh, start doing training tutorials at lynda.com. Um, lynda.com for $25 a month is absolutely amazing. Oh, let's go look at that right fast. lynda.com. And for a $25 a month subscription, you could, you could have access to uh, thousands of Photoshop tutorials. Um, and uh, that could help you from the basics. Uh, all the way up to the advance and they're literally in order and you literally get degrees from your training so lynda.com is bas basically an amazing source so uh, this training video doesn't really include editing all however I am putting myself in here just to give it a little flair and uh, I'm gonna do a control alt s or save for web devices and uh, now this is this is important actually let me go ahead and go to this when you go file save you save for a web device the reason why you save for a web device is because it's optimized for the web mean and that means that it it literally, when it saves it, it saves it, saves it uh, in the smallest file size that's possible. The only other option is if you go save as, and uh, man, my window's opening up over here. There you go. My window is opening up on the other screen. I don't know why, and I can't get it to come over. Let me see if I 
maximize this window here. Fast. Not, not that, but the actual Photoshop window. There we go. Maximize this window. And uh, let me do a save as again. See if it saves on save as. Still goes in the other window. Alright, so it wants to be like that. So what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a, uh, a save for web devices, which is Alt, Shift, Control, S. Um, and then you choose the JPEG. Okay, I usually save at 77 quality. And the size is 205. If you saved it as a regular JPEG using the other save as option, not save for web devices option, you may save it at 500K, about twice as long, and it would take twice as long for the image to load. So you want to save this. Let's just go ahead and save it in, in, on my desktop for now or wherever your folder location is. Once that's saved, let's teach you how to go ahead and upload a new one and uh, work with the, the banners. Okay. First thing you want to do is you want to obviously go to fmcoc.com forward slash administrator. Administrator here. And forward slash administrator takes you to the index page. Log in. Okay. Now you're at your control panel here. You want to go to components. Rock gallery. Rock gallery is basically uh, controls the banners here on the front page. This title, this description, and the image that's in here. Okay, now the, the images that are, are here now, you'll notice it's here. We have this one as well as this one here. So that's this one as well as this one. Now, notice this one when you click here, it says unpublished because it's already published. This one is not published, so when you roll over the, the globe, it says publish. So you can tell the ones that are not published are the ones that have the minus signs, and the ones that need publishing are the ones with the, the globe. Next to that is an icon called the edit icon. This is how you edit the image, the description that goes along with it, as well as the title. And you can delete one if you're done with it and you're, you're through with it. So let's go down to, uh, let's, let's go ahead and uh, uh, unpublish this one. Go back to the front page. Okay. Refresh the page. And um, notice that you can't click because the image is unpublished. It's no longer there. And let's go ahead and publish this one. Uh, well, that one was already published. <laughs> Oops. Uh, sometimes these buttons are a little, a little quirky. You got to double click them uh, rather than click them one time. So we, we published that one. Let's refresh it now and see, see that it's published. It takes a minute sometimes for the cache to catch up to, to your changes, especially if you make a lot of changes real quick. This right here is still showing unpublished. Let's publish it right fast, and then, and and by the way, any any uh, little things, quirky things that we go through are uh, amazing uh, learning opportunities. I've learned that. Uh, and don't mess up my training video here. go in here. Let's go to the edit button on this one. For some reason it's not showing. Oh, it's not showing because it's showing that it's unpublished. And uh, I forgot about that. If you unpublish it here, it will unpublish on the inside as well. Um, let's go back and look now. And uh, there we go. So there's really two places to publish and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and uh, edit this one as well. Double click the edit. Flips over. And notice that it's unpublished on the inside as well. So we're going to publish that so that it's published in both places. We're going to close, and uh, we are going to refresh the page. And we'll talk about the master publish versus the uh, what they call a slice publish. And there we go. Now you can see the anchor here with the shutter stock. And um, so let's say, for example, you wanted to do, let's start from scratch, and you wanted to create a new banner. And we're going to unpublish this one now. And we are going to unpublish this one now. And we're going to click upload here. Okay. I'm going to browse for your image. We saved our image here, the one with me, to the desktop. There we go. Once you got it selected, click upload. Okay. The file loads. Go ahead and close this box out. And you're ready to do your editing.
<clears throat> okay, now, this image, this rock gallery is pretty powerful and it can be used by multiple modules, but for the banner instance, the slice that we need is a slice that is 1240 by such and such uh, dimensions. Uh, however, you could create other slices or thumbnails of this image uh, using the same software. But for this, this tutorial, we're going to focus on one slice, that being the not the thumbnail image slice, but a full, full slice for the banner. So let's go ahead and click edit after we've uploaded. Double click it. All right. Now, you don't really have to do a whole lot here if, if you want. Uh, the, the title here um, will not determine what's on the slideshow in the front. We'll just go ahead and say Craig uh, Hunt, Craig M. Hunt. Okay. And uh, we want to go Craig as the slug. Okay. And you want to put FP dash rock gallery as the tag. Now the tag is important because well I'll just say for, the, for this sake it's, it's important because the module pulls from the gallery every image that has the tag FP rock gallery and that's how this slideshow knows out of all the images that we upload here uh, to the FP rock com gallery component which ones to pull in just for the banner. Okay, So the banner tag is fp dash front page dash rock gallery this is the uh, the tag for the module that is the slideshow okay and uh, don't really worry about that a whole lot just know that you have to go fp dash rock gallery okay now notice here that it's created a slice already one slice that's 380 uh, 300 pixels by 180 tall and this slice is the admin thumbnail it's the very slice that allowed us to, to view the image in here this is the slice that it created, but it created it only for the back office. Let's go back into the edit, double click here. Okay. Now we want to create a new slice, and the new slice is going to be the one for the banner. Okay. And uh, and actually, it's uh, it's already created because well, technically, because we uploaded it at the exact size that we needed. But let's just go ahead and since it's already created here, let's click edit. <clears throat> All right, the new screen slides over now. This title here will determine what this title here is. So this is going to be Evangelist Greg M. Hunt. Okay, and the caption is what is going to show here. So it's going to be a uh, 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 light explosion ministry Mid ministry. Presents deliverance, healing, and prosperity. Okay, and that will be the actual caption that shows. The slug is not all that important. Not for the banner, it's not. But uh, you can just go ahead and give it an individual slug if you want. And uh, if you had a link or an additional page that you actually uh, wanted to link this this uh, slide to, uh, you could put that link in here. Um, for example, if we wanted to. If we had a page that we had built specifically about um, Craig, or let's say, for example, we wanted to link people to the sermon that he had preached, and we had already uploaded the sermon to the page, um, and we clicked the sermon, then uh, you could copy this. Or really, you just want to copy from this point forward. Copy. You could copy the whole link, I believe. Go index. Actually, I think we can just go index. Okay. Come in here. Add the link there. And the tag, this also has to be FP Rock Gallery. Oh, it's already there from the front page. That's right. Notice here, it's already here. Okay, from the front page. And uh, you want to make sure that the gallery is called FP Rock Gallery. You want to publish it. Okay. This slice is already the, the exact dimensions that it needed, but if you needed to change that, um, you could uh, edit that. And. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I thought there was a way to edit it, but apparently there's not. So I take that back. So at any rate, let's just go ahead and we publish it and let's go ahead and save it. Okay. And uh, we want to make sure that it's published here as well. Okay. And publish there. 
you want to see the green lights on. I don't know why that reverse published on us. And uh, evangelist, right? And um, I don't know why those are red on us either. Let's just go ahead and click save. Okay. And close. Okay, we'll see that it is edited because we can't, you know, it gives us the option to unpublish. And let's go back to the front page. Let's go to the home page. Let's see the banner. And there's Evangelist Craig. Now, obviously, Craig is, is a little too high, so we want to come back and bring him down a little bit. We want to resave this, okay, for web devices. And uh, we want to um, go to the desktop, beach wallpaper, save it there. And we want to go back to the back office again. And we want to edit, okay. Now we want to go, this time we want to go new, okay. And we're going to have to re-upload, aren't we? Okay, here I know it's at, oh, when you go new, you can actually change the, uh, the, the size. Um, that's, what it, that's, that's actually what it was. I, I have forgotten. Um, so let's go. If you change out the image, it looks like you actually have to upload a new image and, uh, and restart. But we're going to go ahead and browse that and see how it works out. And um, let's go. We'll beach wallpaper latest. Upload it shouldn't take us too long. And uh, for actually good, good practice and... Uh, you may have to do this a couple times yourself. This is actually probably good. You'll see it twice. Uh, here's the new image where uh, my picture is actually loaded. Let's double click on the edit icon. Okay. Let's go FP Rock Gallery. Okay. Here, add the tag. It's already added. You want to go for a uh, new slice here. And you want the full slice, full size. Uh, we don't have any editing here because we're already at the full slice. So we go click apply there for the full slice. And the title is going to be, we'll just go ahead and copy the other one so that we don't have to recopy re and paste it. So it was cool. Not much was lost. Um, paste and then the description. Paste that there. Slug, not really all that necessary. The link that we link to, um, let's link them to Craig's website lightexplosion.com uh, because let's say for example we wanted to promote a speaker or a preacher or a teacher uh, go to light, lightexplosion.com take their website their personal website link it in there and we already have FP Rock Gallery FP Rock Gallery choose that okay done choose publish and save there we go it stayed published this time publish it here click close Delete this one. Make sure yes. Come back to the front, and we should have a switch out. And hopefully, um, I'm lowered and not in the way of the menu. Not too bad. Could come a little bit lower, but I won't do the little bit lower. Um, and so basically, this gives you a little flexibility. Plus, you know, when you start adding the banners because they are the full height of the uh, the home page, it, it adds you know some some uh, variety. As well as um, flexibility, and you know, it adds some color and some pizzazz to your site, and keeps it fresh and new and different. Um, the only thing that you have to be careful of, uh, obviously, is that the uh, the logo uh, is white. So let's say, for example, you had something that had a white background on the top. Uh, you may want to do something like this, and we'll do this. Uh, this will be our last upload. You may want to do a what's called a gradient here. And the gradient here is from white to black, but we're going to choose different colors. And um, let's just go ahead and choose. Uh, yeah, where is that at? Okay, choose the white to black. Okay, wait, no, colors down here, sorry. Uh, choose, let's see, let's go with a dark blue. Something, something a little darker than this. Let's say like that. And uh, we want to go to um, here, we want to go to a transparent color. Say something like this. So basically, what you're doing is you're doing a gradient overlay from color to transparency. Once that's done, you just go, you click at the top, and you go like that. Okay. And you want to make sure you're on the background layer here. And it looks like we need to go a little bit further out on this. Oops. There we go. And it looks like we want to do something a little bit longer. Oops, that's too long. There we go. Something maybe a little bit longer. And uh, you know, you can choose your color. Let's see how this looks. 
Control Save uh, Desktop Beach Latest Six. Okay, we saved it. Let's go back to the page here and um, let's click delete this one. <coughs> Double click. Okay, and we want to upload. Choose the file. The latest is the one with the gradient on the top. Upload, or you know, in addition to that, if you don't want to do the gradient. Uh, you can. E I'm sure you can easily find a uh, tutorial on YouTube even on how to do that uh, in detail. Uh, do gradient overlay in Photoshop and uh, gradients. There you go. How to how to use layers using gradient overlay in Photoshop. Uh, perfect gradient overlay in Photoshop. Gradient overlay in Photoshop. Gradient overlay tutorial. There's probably thousands of tutorial is just on the very thing that I just did here uh, but if you don't want to use the gradient overlay I'll go to your history and undo the gradient and come back and then basically go like this Okay, just fill it if you want uh, you could fill it with uh, with a solid color and uh, something like that might work as well it just depends so um, the other, uh, other option obviously is to change the uh, use an image that has a darker background color okay now let's go back to the uh, to the page here, and uh, let's go ahead and close. We uploaded the file. Let's double click on it and edit it. <clears throat> All right, we have uh, we can see. You don't really have to change this front stuff. You can do the tag here if you want, but you really can do everything in the back. So we're going to create a new slice from the image that we just uploaded. We want to take these dimensions, apply them because we want to use this. This is the dimension, and it usually puts in the max amount. And we uploaded the exact dimensions of the file that we needed. And let's just go ahead and do this one last time, and this will be the final time on how to switch out the banners. Uh, pretty easy, and uh, uh, once you get this down, this actually goes real quick. Craig, light explosion. Com and uh, FP dash rock gallery. Okay, add that. <clears throat> Choose the gallery, FP Rock Gallery. Okay. Publish. Save. Okay. It's published there. Publish it here. Close. There we go. So look, refresh the page. And not bad. That looks beautiful actually. That worked out great. The only thing is is that my head is still underneath the menu. It looks like I'm hiding, but I'm coming out of hiding in Jesus' name. <laughs> And uh, I believe that's it. Now, um, now there's there's one other thing. Sometimes you want to change the uh, the uh, the uh, the order of the banners and the order that they show. That is not done here. Uh, the order of the banners is not done here. In order to do that, you want to go to modules, go to the extensions, module manager. Okay. And now notice that the, 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 this that was a gallery that this slideshow module pulls from and this module pulls from uh, every every photo that is in the FP rock gallery I'm sure you get it by now now okay so we want to choose the module the type that we want to choose is um, called the rock gallery module how ironic there it is FP rock gallery notice it says position slideshow so this is the actual slideshow itself the module itself that pulls from the gallery and that gallery can have multiple modules can pull from that same gallery and all you do is assign the images to the uh, to a particular ta or tag it and sign it to a particular gallery and that module will pull from it so at any rate uh, you don't need to change any settings except for you go into the options here okay and you go sort by title created update created uh, views loves randoms and uh, 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 you can order it Ascending or descending, and that's basically your order, your your um, your ordering options. Okay, and let's see. Go back to close out of here. So you probably you probably won't mess with any of these. Uh, your latest ones obviously will usually be the ones that that need that need to be uploaded or need to be the latest. Uh, let's go in here right fast to rock gallery and so as long as you have the latest usually that 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 pretty much covers you okay. 
And that concludes our lesson on the switching out of the banners and the FP Rock Gallery. If you have any questions, uh, please submit them to the commenting system below uh, this, um, this tutorial, and I will respond to them with a counter video or in writing if necessary uh, to expound upon it or explain or teach her something that I've missed. Hope you have a blessed day, and thank you for watching.